Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very relaxing kind of spend the afternoon with me clean and organize and dust my perfume shelves, my dresser, my perfume bottles and I just really wanted to have a chill relaxing afternoon, listen to some jazz music and just clean and organize my room. I did just recently get a whole bunch of decor from H&M Home and some of it is going to be in my new place so I'll show you some of the pieces I got from H&M Home as well as some of the items I found at Amazon and if you guys are new here I would love if you would consider subscribing on this channel we do talk a lot about minimalism decluttering home decor perfume self-care a little bit of fashion pretty much whatever I feel like talking about with you guys and I absolutely love coffee so if you're anything like me and you love coffee and you love organizing and you love relaxing chill videos and you like all things feminine like fragrances and home decor and all of that good stuff definitely feel free to subscribe you can also feel free to head over and follow me on Instagram where I do share a lot of similar content. And with that out of the way, you guys, let's get started in today's video. Okay, so as you guys can see on my dresser here, I have a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't really belong. It all looks super cute together, of course, but it doesn't all belong on the dresser. I was taking photos for Instagram and just kind of playing around with decor a little bit today. And as a result, I have a huge mess. I've got stuff everywhere and nothing is really in its place. And I really needed to give everything a good dusting anyway. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to take you guys with me and do a little bit of quick dusting and cleaning. If you're interested in anything that you see in today's video, I will do my my best to link everything down below because I have some super cute pieces. Just drinking some coffee here in my favorite speckled mug. I will link this for you guys down below as well. Always get compliments on this coffee mug. It comes in lots of different colors and I'll try to link everything else down below as well. A lot of it was from Amazon and some of it was from H&M Home. I just pulled all my perfumes out of the closet and put them on this tray because I made a reel with it earlier but I actually don't like the way that they look all displayed on the tray and I'm trying to decide if I even want this tray out on my dresser anymore. That's where it previously lived was on the dresser with just a couple simple pieces of decor um, I definitely don't like the way that these perfumes look sitting out on the tray I much prefer how they look just sitting on the top shelf of this four-tiered shelf in my closet and if you guys are wondering why things look a little bit bare I'm missing a couple pairs of shoes it is because they are in my overnight bag which is in a different room so if you see a couple items missing that you're used to seeing here that's because they are kind of packed away at the moment among some of the super cute decor items that I got are these two candles which I got from Amazon and I thought that they would actually be bigger. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be They also have a soapy smell. They smell very strongly like soap So I wasn't expecting that but I thought that they were super cute and would make really nice um, Little pieces of decor that I could switch out I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put them for now So those may very well end up in the spare closet I also found these beautiful asymmetric vases from home set or not home sense sorry H&M home and they are absolutely stunning They're so pretty. They're like this stone decor and I just love how they're wavy and they're kind of offset Like they offset each other and they're so cute. Haven't decided where I'm gonna put them yet That was part of my inspiration for making today's video. Um, please ignore the blood-curdling screams of children outside I promise that there is nothing going on outside of my yard, but the children are very very loud So as you guys know, I am very much uh, somebody who doesn't like clutter and although everything on the dresser is really pretty it's obviously very cluttered I have to decide what's gonna stay and what I'm gonna put on the shelf in the bedroom and what stuff can just kind of go away in storage and come out when it needs to come out I also have a couple pieces of makeup here that I just pulled out just to take pretty photos those can obviously go away in my makeup bag um, and then I have four trays on my dresser and I have to decide which of these four trays I like or I want to keep out on the dresser, which ones can go back in the closet. And I think it's okay to have a couple extra pieces that you can switch out like throughout the year. And like I told you guys, I will be moving to a new place. I'm going to have another bathroom in that place and I'm gonna need a little bit more decor in that place. I think it's okay to have a couple extra decorative bowls. The first thing I'm gonna do is put away these um, makeup items because these do not need to be out even though they look really pretty it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have something pretty sitting out but yeah these don't need to be sitting out so I think I'm gonna go put those away in my makeup bag I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is pull everything off of this big shelf in my bedroom I don't know if you guys can see it I'll come over to the other side so I'm gonna pull everything off of this big shelf um, there was one point when I thought I don't even know if I really need the shelf anymore um, because yeah, I don't know if I really need it, but I do have a lot of pretty decor pieces. Maybe I'm going to come up with a better way to organize this. And I was also thinking I might sell my Tory Burch clutch, which is that pink clutch sitting there. 
And yeah, just kind of, I'm like hungry for a change a little bit. And I think obviously this doesn't look right because I've been pulling things down and using things and experimenting and switching things up over the last little bit. And it obviously is like not organized. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull everything off that shelf and give it a good wipe. And I'm also going to clean my perfume bottles. few items can come off of this dresser as well so I'm gonna take this bowl and put this over here with the rest of the decor everything looks so pretty together doesn't it yeah I think I'll pull this off for now even though it looks pretty on the dresser it looks very plain on the dresser now so obviously there's some room to work with a few things I mean theoretically I could leave it like that but I'm gonna have to spruce it up a little bit with perfumes or something but this can come on the floor for now too Alright, so now that the bookshelf is all clean, I'm going to go ahead and give this four-tiered glass shelf a clean as well. Look how shiny that bottle is. Vinegar and water, baby. Works every time. <laughs> okay, so now that the perfumes are dusted off, the tray is clean. I don't even know if I'm going to utilize the tray anymore, um, but now I'm going to go ahead and give the dresser a quick dusting. By the way, the mirror, I know that the mirror would look so much nicer hung on the wall, but I haven't hung it for a couple reasons. Um, number one, mostly laziness. <laughs> and I don't have a stud finder. I'd have to go out and actually buy a stud finder to find a stud because it's quite a heavy mirror. Uh, number two, I'm just not that motivated to hang it at the moment. I don't know, it doesn't bother me sitting on the dresser like that, but I do think that it would look a little bit better if it was hung up on the wall, and I'm also super paranoid of it falling out of the wall one night while I'm sleeping or something and breaking or breaking something on my dresser, so I'm kind of just not that motivated to go to the hardware store, <laughs> to be honest.
All right, so everything's clean. Now I just have to decide what I want to stay out on the dresser. Um, if I want to have any perfumes out at all on display. If I do, what kind of a um, tray do I want to put them on? Or do I want them just sitting by themselves? Do I want to have a candle on the dresser besides the ones I have over there? Um, yeah, and then also decide what of this decor I want to go back on the display shelf. I guess the first thing I'm going to do is put all of my non-decorative perfumes back on the tray and put that in the closet. By non-decorative, I mean these are the perfumes I actually wear. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that um, I decluttered my perfume collection a few months ago. I got down to about like 13. And then over the last three months, I've actually decluttered four more. So I should only have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I've got nine perfumes. I'm um, not gonna lie. I am on the hunt. I am on the hunt I have the perfume purchase itch and I would like to buy a Lalabo You guys will probably see a couple perfumes make their way into my life in the near future But I also have some perfumes that are not ones I wear and I consider those my decorative fragrances and the decorative perfumes that I have here are Low Papier from Diptyque, although this one I'm actually giving to my boyfriend. So I bought this one with the intention that I was going to wear it. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, Low Papier has mimosa, sesame, musk, and woodsy notes, and it smells um, kind of like a beautiful, slightly floral, musky paper. I don't know. It smells really, really good. I love it. Um, it's unisex, but this one actually just suits my boyfriend so much more than it suits me. Every time I put it on, I feel like I'm wearing his cologne. It just doesn't work for me. I would rather smell this on him. So I'm going to be giving this to him and I will replace it with a diptyque for myself in the future that I can actually wear. But right now it is literally just decor because it's beautiful. And the other one that is just decor is my Chanel Paris Venice. This is actually a beautiful scent. It kind of smells like a fresh lipstick, but um, it has terrible performance. So I don't often wear it. I have sprayed it a few times. There's like a tiny bit missing, but um, the performance is just awful. So this is another one that is just a decor decor perfume. And I really think that they look beautiful with my diptyque candle. This is the berry candle. Um, so I think that those look really nice. So yeah, those are my decorative perfumes. I also have a couple of travel sprays in here. I've got the Cali Vanilla 28 Replica Coffee Break and um, Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62. And those are my only travel sprays at the moment. Then I have a couple of testers in there as well. Um, little, are they testers? Not testers. Samples. <laughs> and um, yeah, I would also really like a replica perfume, you guys. So don't be surprised if you see a replica. I honestly, I'm huge into like aesthetic things at the moment. And I just really want a replica perfume, obviously a diptyque perfume, and also a, um, by uh, Le Labo. But Le Labo, I actually like really like some of their fragrances. I'm just trying to decide which one I like the best. So what I had before on this top shelf was just a whole bunch of perfume sitting on the right corner. And then on the left corner, it had a little tiny ceramic tray with like three specific perfumes sitting on that tray. And that is something I might do again because I do have a couple trays. Um, I have a few different ceramic dishes that I got from Amazon and I think they're so cute and I do want to utilize them. Okay, so I decided to use this little kind of um, asymmetrical dish to hold three perfumes. I just think it looks pretty when you have three of them kind of on display, even though they're all kind of on display. <laughs> and because I wanted to use the other round one for on top of my dresser, potentially, I'm not 100% sure I might switch this up. Um, so yeah, so these are the perfumes. For those of you who are new here and haven't seen my perfume collection, I'll just give you a quick list of what they are. Um, so in the back, I have Kaoli Vanilla 28, which is a favorite vanilla. Chanel Gabrielle Essence, which is a really beautiful floral. Mon Guerlain from Guerlain, which is a beautiful lavender vanilla. This tray likes to spin a little bit, which is kind of weird and annoying. Um, in the back, I have Christian Louboutin Le Rouge, which is a powdery woody vanilla. Killian Princess, which is a beautiful vanilla and green tea fragrance and marshmallow. Um, Armani Code Satin, which is a super sexy floral with some chocolate in it. Black Opium Lay Parfum, which is your typical pear coffee vanilla with lots of vanilla in this one. 
um, and uh, Victor and Ralph Flowerbomb, which is a very sweet floral, and Saint Haldanshaw from Armani Privé, which is a really fresh take on a sandalwood and very, very classy. So that is my nine perfume collection that I actually wear at the moment, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that back in the closet. Okay, so now to decide what to put back on this shelf. Um, yeah, this will be interesting because, oh yeah, and some of it's gonna go back on the dresser. I have to figure out what's gonna go on the dresser too. I think that I kind of want, I think I might want um, a couple perfumes on the dresser in some capacity, whether they're kind of standing by themselves or on a tray. And as for the tray, I could keep the tray off to the side with the fragrances, or I could put it on top of a stack of books. I'm not sure. This is going to take a little bit of playing around and seeing what works and what looks nice. Um, I could also just leave the dresser exactly as it is right now because it's very minimalistic. It's very beige. It's very clean. I have three coffee table books here and I could put one of them on the bookshelf. Whoops. I could put one of them on the bookshelf and leave one out. Kind of like the look of a little bit of color there. The way that looks. I like that little pop of pink there. That subtle, subtle, um, pinkier tone. I definitely want um, this Dior shoe box. I'm just going to go ahead and put that back. This shoe box holds a whole bunch of um, dust bags for handbags that I have. Dust bags and um, shoe, shoe dust bags. It's actually it's actually pretty full. I need to organize it better, but I like to keep my dust bags just in case. Just in case I sell something or when I travel or when I move. Um, so that works really well. And the shoe box itself looks like kind of a nice little piece of decor, so that works. I also really like this knot decor. This is gonna stay. Um, also my travel sprays. These two vases I think are really pretty, but I don't know if they're too maximal for the space. Um, I would really like to keep this bowl out somewhere because the bowl is really pretty. This bubble candle I definitely want to work with, whether it goes on the shelf or goes on the dresser. My diptyque candle, definitely want to keep that. A couple coffee table books, can put those to use. Um, and then my decorative perfumes. I kind of wouldn't mind the decorative perfumes being on the dresser somewhere, somehow. So I think I might find a way to keep those out on the dresser somewhere. The flowers I think I still want as well. Um, I've always had flowers on the shelf. I don't know what this shelf looks like without flowers. I'm just like so used to it. So yeah, I might have to do a little bit of playing around off camera and then show you guys what I come up with. So this is my first arrangement that I just kind of put on the shelf. Don't know if I'm loving it. Don't know if I'm loving the handbags being out on display. Like I said, I was also thinking of possibly selling my Tory Burch clutch. If I did that, I would just have these two left. I don't even know if I need those out on display. Like I could actually just put the handbags away in the closet. I don't even need them out on display, but that looks to me a little bit more minimal. I kind of like it better. And then also there's this Dior book, which is pink, I kind of almost like that look a little bit better. It's a little bit more minimalistic. I don't like too much going on. I don't want it to be too busy. So yeah, I'm not sure if I should just put this pretty Dior book to the side for now until I, I bring it out when I take pictures and stuff, but I don't really know if I need it out all the time. Look at my cat. She's having like the best sleep of her life. She's been sleeping here all morning. I just got linen sheets for my bed, by the way, you guys, the linen duvet cover, and it is so comfortable. Ignore the mess on the nightstand right now. That's from cleaning, but yeah, I love, I love my linen, linen duvet, duvet cover. So yeah, here's a couple items I could possibly just maybe sell this. I don't know. I just, I never use this anymore. You guys, this was actually my first like higher end um, designer item that I ever purchased and I've used it a couple times, but I haven't used it lately. I don't know, but I, I do really like it. And then the Dior book. 
It is nice to have a little pop of pink here and there, but I kind of want everything to be as neutral as possible. And then this is the situation with the dresser. I'm really not sure if I'm going to have these candles out at all. They're cute, but do I regret getting them? Like, I don't... I don't know. They're cute, but I don't know if I'm actually going to use them. I'm low-key tempted to send them back to Amazon. I've got this bubble candle here as well, which I really like the look of bubble candles, but I feel like you don't need everything out though, you know? And then I also have the this tray and then these two perfumes. Um, I really like the look of the diptyque candle, but I kind of had it, I had it like this. And I didn't have the books here. And so it was super minimalistic. All right, so that's just with the um, metallic mirrored tray. It looks perfectly fine. It looks really nice. There's nothing wrong with it. I just also really like the look of coffee table books sitting out on the dresser, but you know, it's nice to be able to switch things out, but it doesn't mean I have to have everything out at once. Um, these are just such beautiful pieces though. They just all look so nice, but yeah, I think, I think I should put the, um, Tory Burch clutch if, I don't have to sell it necessarily, but I think I'm going to put it away in the closet. I don't think I want it sitting out anymore. I don't even mind the way the shelf looks right now. Actually, that looks really cute. I'm okay with it. I think I'm probably going to leave that how it is. This Dior book is so pretty and I kind of want a book on the dresser. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just not sure where to put it, but it does look so cute. It goes with everything. So nice. I'm not sure where to put it or what to do with it, but I do really like it. I don't know what to do with that book. <laughs> if you guys are watching, tell me what you would do differently. Tell me what you would do with the book as well. Because um, I actually think this is so pretty. I actually really, really like it, even though it's pink. It's not beige, it's pink. And I don't really want much for color, but it looks nice. These are super cute, but again, I, I honestly... Like, I thought I would like them so much more than I do. I think I was expecting this one to be bigger than it is. It's really small. It just kind of looks out of place. Like, I don't know. To me, it just kind of looks out of place. So I don't really know what to do with, with this. It's just literally so small. So maybe I'll put these away as well, and I might dig them out one day. Or maybe I'll return them, honestly. And then this tray is obviously beautiful, but I have nowhere to put it at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I already got a Byredo to add to my collection, and this is Byredo de Los Santos. This is the first perfume that I have purchased in about three months. Being that my perfume collection is only nine right now, and I'm making some serious dents in my bottles, um, I really just wanted to find a Byredo to bring into my collection. Um, so I'm going to be perfectly honest. I did mostly buy this just because I wanted a Byredo, not because I like fell head over heels for the scent or anything like that. It was kind of a semi-blind. I had smelled it before, but it's been a really long time since I smelled it. I will be doing a full review on De Los Santos in a video coming up. Um, but yeah, I think that this is going to be the perfect addition to put on my dresser. All right, so this is kind of what I have at the moment. I'm kind of getting fatigued from <laughs> trying to decorate. It looks nice with the books in front of the mirror as well. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit more cluttered than I usually like it. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's really no wrong way to do it. It's like whatever you like. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I like this tray better than the other one. So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not 100% decided. And then I really, really like this vase. Um, this vase is from H&M and I just think it's the perfect addition to this room. Um, on the flip side, if I got rid of this vase, I could put the coffee table books there. That's what it looks like without the vase. There truly is no wrong way to do it. I don't even have to have the bubble candle. So yeah, I'm going to play around a little bit more off camera because I'm kind of overwhelmed at the moment. I have to figure out what I'm doing and then I'll come back and show you guys the final result. Okay, so to be honest, you guys, I feel like I'm kind of getting nowhere at the moment. Um, I think I have to have either the books and the candles or the tray, but not both. I think it's too busy to have all of them, so I have to decide if I want perfumes out at all or if I want books on the dresser at all, but I don't think I can have all of them for me. It's just a little bit too cluttered. So yeah, now I have to decide, do I want the perfumes or do I want the books? Honestly, I think it looks really nice just kind of like this. Yeah, very minimal, very clean. 
and that's kind of essentially that's kind of essentially what it looks like and then I've got those items <laughs> but yeah I don't want the dresser to be too busy that would really overwhelm me All right guys, so just a quick rundown of what I have on the dresser at the moment. Obviously I have nothing in the vase. I do have pompous grass coming. Whether or not I actually put the pompous grass in the vase, I'm not sure. I did decide to go with this smaller ceramic tray, so I just have it sitting on top of this book that I got from Amazon. Um, I got this little bubble candle. I've had that for a long time. I put my diptyque candle on the tray as well as a diptyque fragrance. Not sure if I'm 100% obsessed with that. I think that this tray could be just a little larger. That would have been really nice or maybe have like a miniature tray to go here something like that but overall I don't mind it and I think it looks pretty nice then I've got the gold mirror and then to the right I just put a random little Byredo perfume just because I thought that it looked kind of cute to offset it with just like little item kind of sitting there looking like it's almost not supposed to be there but also like casual and sort of intentional at the same time and then I have this bowl which has my jewelry in it love this bowl from H&M and then I have one of these pillar candles um, in a really pretty beige color and then just a Long candlestick and a candle holder and just a couple little earrings that I got from Amazon as well so I'm pretty happy with it I prefer the right side of the dresser I like the way the right side looks more than the left but overall you guys I think it looks pretty good and it definitely kind of goes with the rest of the room which is all very beige and very clean very airy and very minimal so that was it for today's clean and organize and kind of decorate with me you guys and i'm still not sure i'm 100 percent gonna leave everything exactly where it is i feel like these kind of things you tinker around with and you eventually find what you love the most but i honestly was just so tired i didn't have any more energy in me to try to continue decorating and figuring out where to put stuff i probably will make a couple changes over the next few days but thank you guys so much for spending this afternoon with me i hope that it was really relaxing and i hope that you listened to it while you did your own kind of stuff at home or that it inspired you to switch up your decor a little bit. Thank you so much for being here today and I'll see you all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.